So as I'm, you know, getting everything prepared for, um, you know, to detail my car or to detail uh, Sylvie, I have, you know, the three amigos right here. They're going to come and help me uh, clean my car. <laughs> hey, yo, Pancho, come back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They scoping it. They scoping it. They're like, man, look at the new, look at the new BRZ. This thing's fire. Nah, they're going to go look at something else. They're going to look at that, uh, that truck, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy where I live. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Sergio. Um, I own a 2022 Subaru BRZ. Um, you know, I did own a 2013 Scion FRS 10 series. Uh, I'm actually making this YouTube channel to kind of walk through some of my modifications of my new 2022. Um, I just picked it up yesterday. It only has about maybe 60 or 6,000 miles on it. Um, so it is pretty new. Um, but as far as my 2013 FRS, it had a V3 HKS supercharger on that guy. It was lowered, it had wheels and coilovers. <clears throat> I actually um, updated the interior to a 2018 and above uh, BRZ TS, so it had BRZ TS seats, BRZ TS steering wheel, and as if you know, with the GT86, um, you know, cars, you can't, you know, direct fit that stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm making this channel to kind of um, show you everything as far as um, modifying my new 2022 because I remember I was in those situations where no one else did what I did, like that TS interior. Um, so I kind of just want to walk through what I'm, you know, kind of doing with mine, um, and hopefully um, you guys can kind of um i can help you out with any of the modifications you do to yours um but let me uh let me quit talking and let me show you my 2022 so this is my 2022 subaru brz limited so it's the one with the 18 inch wheels um all that alcantara interior as you can see i got it in the color of ice silver um, that's actually kind of paying homage to the 10 series I had, which was the FRS. Um, I want to kind of stay with the same silver. Um, so here, here she is. I mean, I have, <laughs> I have a name for her. She, uh, my name, <laughs> my car, um, Sylvie. So, you know, this is Sylvie, um, code name Project Sylvie. Um, but anyways, um, like I said, it's the same limited with the steering responsive headlights. Um, you know, the heated um, seats. It has, um, you know, the, the more speaker. You're basically just adding tweeters and all. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is it. And I have many things planned for it. I'm actually gonna be detailing it right now. Um, but as you can see in the inside, you have all that Alcantara and you have that pollen, lovely pollen. Um, but you have all that interior, six speed manual, of course, you know, just gotta keep it real. So um, yeah, so the following clips are gonna be of me detailing uh, this new 2022 uh, Sylvie and installing some little modifications that I feel like kind of makes it sit at home for me. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So for the first modification we're gonna do, it's pretty simple. So basically on the 2022 BRZ, um, it's not like my Scion FRS where I had a place to store my phone. Um, it you know it just has cup holders and if you store your phone in the cup holder you won't be able to um, you know use the cup holder so what I ended up finding out is that um, Amazon sells these leather um, you know phone holders that sit in the middle of the seat so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be just pla placing it right there in between just like that so now you know I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cable and I just open up my center console Sorry, I had to change the angle, um, but pretty much now I can route my cable in that little hole right there and then straight through. And now, you know, whenever I want to use my phone, it's going to sit right there. So the second thing we're going to be doing today is pretty much changing our amber side markers to um, our crystal um, JDM side marker um, kits because I think it would definitely fit, you know, the ice silver metallic and it'll make it look a whole lot better.
So just like that, we have switched our side marker indicators from that amber that looked, you know, it didn't look bad, but I think that this definitely complements, um, you know, the ice silver a whole lot better. Um, so now that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the other side. So as I did mention before, I did have a 2013 Scion FRS, um, but for that car, you know, I wanted to update everything. So I did update the intake manifold and, um, you know, the intake itself to uh, the new 2013, or no, excuse me, the 2018 and newer BRZ and 86 intakes. So therefore I had a older or a one of those updated K&N air filters. So I'm going to go ahead and install it because um, from what I know, um, they do kind of transfer over for the newer ones. Um, um, so let's go ahead and install that. Pretty much from here, you can see that Subaru has, um, you know, kind of made a carbon filter. I heard this is for like emissions requirements and things like that for another stage. But for me, I mean, I'm kind of more performance oriented, so I don't really feel like I need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. Um, you know, I think the best way to do it is just kind of cut it, cut a line through it, and then. Uh, Go ahead and just kind of rip it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and install the K&N filter. So pretty much... that so it does fit you know just to confirm um, I'll go ahead and throw the part number the Amazon link in the description for you guys so you guys can pick that up just like that we're done so for my air cabin filter I'm also going to be replacing it for a K&N air cabin filter um, this again is for the older gens um, you know, this is, uh, if you want the part number, like I said, I'll try to put that in the description as far as the Amazon link, so you can go and pick this up. Um, but as far as replacing this, it's, you know, pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and get in. So all you gotta do is take off your dampener here, this little arm that holds it up. After that, all you gotta do is squeeze it to the side, and this will drop down. Um, and then this is where you're going to take off your little cover for the cabin air filter. Just like that. And then you do want to, you know, pay attention to the direction it is. So it says it's up that way. So again, just pull that out. So just like that, I do confirm that one does fit as well. So I'll go ahead and put that in the description, like I said, so you can find it and get it for your 22 Subaru BRZ or GR86, whatever you do have. Um, but you just put it back and then kind of um, put the glove box on right here and then just put on your dampener and you should be fine. So another thing that I wanna go ahead and install is um, an M-Tech clutch spring. So pretty much your stock clutch spring, um, it does um, kind of push back on you and you know, installing this M-Tech clutch spring does help you out as far as feeling where the clutch pedal is. Um, so I'm assuming that it fits just like everything else um, from the new gen to, uh, well, from the old gen to the new gen. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that.
right so clutch spring your mtech clutch spring is installed so now i'm going to be able to kind of feel that clutch point a little bit better rather than kind of assisting me too much all right so one thing that always bugged me on my frs is halogen anything pretty much um halogen bulbs in the front or in the mirror like anything the halogen i would always change um so what we're going to do is we're going to change these to led um both dome lights um all you have to do really is go ahead and just use a pry tool to remove your uh, little cover you could use it from here and just pop it down um and you just want to pull that bulb out so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off so that won't burn my freaking fingers and we'll go ahead and replace them the bulbs i mean you can find them at like walmart or amazon wherever you want to get them but it's the exact same thing Nope, wrong way. Okay, now we just put on the covers. Just like that, LED. All right, so for the back, what I want to do, um, like I said, my 2013 Scion FRS, I kind of made it to like a poor man's TS because I really wanted a TS but never could get one. So anyways, um, so what I want to do here in the back is go ahead and remove both my Subaru logo and my BRZ emblem and hopefully replace it with these guys. I got, um, you know, a gloss black BRZ um, emblem from a I want to say a hyper blue BRZ and then a TS uh, gloss black emblem so if you want to get both of these items let me know I can put the part number in the description or just uh, drop down a comment down below um, and I can definitely hook you up with the part number and the link to these two guys um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started removing these emblems So just like that, we went ahead and mounted the black BRZ and the TS logo right there. So as you can see, uh, black BRZ and then TS. I know that um, a lot of people will uh, like this look, but um, you know, just to kind of give a little bit of background to the TS, I know that um, there is a BRZ TS, so it stands for Tuned by STI. But for me, honestly, um, you know, my name again is Sergio, so you know, for me, I kind of feel like that says uh, Tuned by Sergio. So, um, you know, it, it's kind of a thing for me. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really sharp. Um, like I said, if you want the part numbers or if you want to know where I got it from, just let me know in the comments below, and I can surely share that with you. Okay, so now that we went ahead and um, you know, kind of put the modifications on for now. Um, kind of like just temporary first mods. Um, I think it's looking really good. Um, I think with the fu functionality that it's going to give me, uh, definitely going to work out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start detailing her just to make her nice and shiny.
right, so I said that, um, you know, I wouldn't do this today, but supposedly it's really easy, um, so I decided to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the push start button to the STI uh, push start button. Um, this is actually out of my uh, 10 series FRS that I put in there, um, came in from, coming from a, uh, t a BRZTS. So, uh, you know, hopefully that the same connections work. Um, you know, fingers crossed. All right, and just like that, it uh, pops right in. Um, so pretty much, um, you know, it does work. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just push the clutch and turn it on. Yep, so it's... Uh, same thing, same thing. Light works and everything, um, you know, so it's a direct plug and play from, you know, the older BRZs, it's the same push button start. Um, so definitely uh, looks nice on the interior. So as we finish, you know, the day and, you know, sun comes down, you kind of just look back at, you know, Sylvie and I'm just like, man, it's crazy what a little bit of things can do to a car, you know, just cleaning it up. Um, putting your personal touches to it, um, you know, adding minor little mo modifications to make it your own, um, you know, just just kind of seeing the finished product. All right, so here's the finished product. You got the clear side markers. You have my Pikachu that I added. It's kind of, like I said, paying homage to my previous FRS. Um, I had that in that car when I first bought it, so I was like, why not? Why not do the same for this one, you know? Um, so just washed it with some chemical guy stuff just a typical and then when we go to the back you can kind of see the BRZ TS on there I think it really fits it and then when we go inside you'll see that I kind of I basically conditioned all the plastic so like you know this is my first brand new car so I want it to last forever I went ahead and uh, you know conditioned the plastics conditioned the leather out of the mats my phone holder right there Pikachu kind of just chilling and then if you look right there the corner you can see my uh, STI push button start everything looks great and then the LED lights that we installed mm -hmm. but yeah so pretty much if you guys want to see more content about my build um, there's big things to come including you know Brembo's we're gonna be adding Brembo's we're gonna be adding Titan 7's to the car um, you know there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff that I'm gonna do to it um, as far as modifications um, really I'm really planning to put an HKS supercharger in the future you know when do, when funds do allow it um, but you know I'm gonna go ahead and drop some photos of my 2013 Scion FRS so you can see you know what I've done to that car and kind of see what's in what's in you know what's in store for this guy so um, yeah stay tuned